Hey guys, this is Anand and today we are going to fix this critical process died error coming in your laptop or PC. So there are two situations in this case. Either you are stuck at this BSODS screen or you are able to access your desktop. So if you are able to access your desktop, just go to search option and type reset and open this reset this PC option. Now here in advanced startup, click on restart now and again here click restart now and after restart you will be here. This is advanced startup settings. And in second situation, if you are unable to access your desktop and stuck at BSOD error screen, then press and hold the power button of your PC until your PC turns off. And again press the power button to turn it on. As soon as when you see Windows is loading, again press and hold it until your PC turns off. And again press it to start your PC. Do this process 3 or 4 times until you see something different, like this. And you will be here. Just go to advanced options. Okay, from here we are going to do a lot of things, one by one. Must follow every solution, don't skip anything. So the first solution is, don't do anything, but if you have recently connected or installed any hardware to your PC, just remove it and check if your problem is resolved or not. If not, let's start from here. Just click on troubleshoot, click on advanced option, click on a startup repair, and this will try to repair your PC automatically. Just wait for the process to complete and follow on screen instruction. It is saying a startup repair couldn't repair your PC. No problem, we will try next method. Click on advanced option. Click on troubleshoot again. Click on advanced options. Now click on command prompt and type bcd edit. Hit enter. Look for OS device. It is here and partition is equal to E. It might be another drive letter in your case like C, D or ETC. Just keep this letter in your mind. This is your windows installation partition. Now type boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and hit enter. The operation completed successfully. Now type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. If you are getting access is denied then type boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys. Now again type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and this time you will not get access is denied error. Now from here command is for all type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and follow next command type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This will take some time, just wait for the process to complete. Now, now type chk dsk space your partition drive letter colon space forward slash f. Must change this letter with your installation drive letter and hit enter. Now again it will take some time depending on your uh, disk size. Just wait for the process to complete. Now cut from here and click on continue. This will restart your PC and check if problem is resolved or not. If not then again come here. Click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options and click on uninstall updates. From here we will uninstall quality update and feature update one by one. Just click on quality update and click on uninstall quality updates. This will take some time and restart your PC. After restart if problem is not resolved again come here and this time uninstall feature update. After uninstalling updates if problem is still coming then click on system restore, click next and here you will find some restore points with some description and date also. From these dates select that date when your PC was in good condition and click on next. This will restore your PC to that date. This will not delete your personal file so don't worry. But if you are not find any restore point on your PC and see this message then leave this step and follow next step. Now come here and enter in safe mode. Just click on startup settings, click on restart and press 5 from your keyboard. Enable safe mode with networking. So this is safe mode. You can also see it here. We are going to do a lot of things in safe mode. Just follow the steps one by one. Right click on a start button. Go to device manager. Internet is required for this process. So connect your internet from here. And see for yellow triangles. Like here is the yellow triangle. Here is also yellow triangle. And update all drivers with yellow triangles. For example, here is the yellow triangle. Just right click on VMware or anything and click on update driver. Here click on search automatically for drivers. If it is saying the best driver for your device is already installed then cut from here and minimize this window. Click on a start button, go to settings, click on windows update. If you see something went wrong try to open settings later then also leave this step otherwise update your windows and restart your PC and check for the problem if it is resolved or not. 
if not then again come in safe mode and go to device manager and uninstall all drivers with yellow triangle like this for example right click on this and click on uninstall device and after uninstalling all restart your pc and check if the problem is resolved or not if not then again come in safe mode and go to search option and type memory and click on this windows memory diagnostic and click on this restart now and check for problems this will restart your pc and start checking for the problem just wait for the process to complete and then restart your pc and check if problem is resolved or not if not then again come to safe mode and open run dialog box by pressing windows and r simultaneously and type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic and press enter now click on advance and check this option applies repair automatically and click on next this will detect your problem and fix it. Just follow on screen instructions. The next solution is open command prompt. Just go to search option, type cmd and run as administrator. Here type dism space slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Internet is required for this process. So make sure you are connected and hit enter. This will take some time just to wait for the process to complete it. After this type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Again wait for the process to complete. If anything is not working then the last option is reset your pc. Just click on troubleshoot, click on reset this pc, click on my files, keep my files and click on this local reinstall because this cloud download required internet but cloud download is better than local reinstall. So if you are able to access your desktop, go to desktop and go to reset this PC settings and click on cloud download and reset your PC. But before resetting your PC, try one more thing. Just come to advanced option and click on startup settings. Click on restart. And here press number eight, disable early launch anti-malware protection. And if you are able to come to your desktop, it means something is faulty in your system. It might be a driver or it might be some apps or software. So your work is to find that driver or software and either update it or uninstall it. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe the channel if it helps you.